Amen. A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Saturday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time. The Church celebrates today the Transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Aris Martin SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We would like to welcome you in this Eucharistic celebration, but also we would like to welcome the seminarians to their home, Christ the King Seminary. We thank the parents, the family, friends, benefactors, and formators, and of course the seminarians for trying to offer yourself to the Lord. And this feast of the transfiguration, we see how Jesus presents to us his very nature, his very being. He is light. Jesus, the light and life of our life. At the start of this celebration, let us pause for a while. Allow this light to penetrate the darkness of our life so that we may be transfigured. Allow God's grace to cleanse us from our many sins and beg Him for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. In the silence of our hearts, once again let us whisper to God's ear our intentions for this Mass, for the intentions of 
Irene, Daisy, Eileen, the healing of Carolina, and all our intentions. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant, we pray to your servants, that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord, the Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice and all peoples see his glory. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. Because you, O Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory, This is my Son, my Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it as to a lamp shining in a dark place until late dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel.
beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased, listen to him. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up a mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance, and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were conversing with him. Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his exodus that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son listen to him after the voice had spoken jesus was found alone they fell silent and did not at that time tell anyone what they had seen the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Good morning, brothers and sisters, and once again, welcome to our celebration. There is a big feast that we are celebrating today, the Feast of the Transfiguration. Transfiguration, Jesus, before entering his passion, suffering death, Jesus transfigured like a resurrected one. And this is very interesting, precisely because if God can recreate us out of nothing. He can transfigure us. If God created us out of nothing, He can recreate us out of the death, the mess, the difficulties that we go through in life. This is what we celebrate today. God recreating us in a wonderful way out of the death, the passion, and the suffering that we go through. He does it by His light and life. And I would like to identify very closely to that quality of Jesus, the divine word. In fact, we were trying to contemplate or in the process of making a kind of a divina, a full-blown divina to the divine word and there is one thing that comes to mind in the formulation of this novena, and that is Jesus, the light and life. Because out of light, out of life, that we are transfigured, that we are recreated. Imagine a world without light. Imagine a world of darkness, and there is no life. Kahapon po, nag-dasal uh, kami sa cemetery. Uh, two years anniversary na po ng kaibigan ko na nawala during the pandemic. Isang nanay. At buong pamilya po sa gitna ng ulan at uh, walang sikat ang araw. We prayed together. At 
sinabi ng kanyang panganay na anak sa akin, Father, parang hindi nasisikat ang araw sa amin. While everybody else is going back to normal life after the pandemic, they are so excited to go back to their life which is normal. Parang kami because we lost the light of our family, ang ilaw ng tahanan. Parang, Father, hindi na babalik ang normal sa pamilya namin. It's a sad story. Umuulan, madilim ang kapaligiran, nasa sementeryo kami. Pero after saying that, he also added something like, Pero Lord, pero sabi niya, Father, may awa ang Panginoon. We trust in God. And I think that concluding remark, the mom might not come back to life again. The light of the family. Ang ilaw ng tahanan might not come back to the family again. But his trust in the Lord Jesus, who is the light to the nations, who is the light to the world, brings us a kind of a hope. Yes, the mom may not be there, but the light never stops shining. In the midst of the storm, in the midst of darkness, in the midst of the cemetery. And that hope is what we are holding on. That hope is what we are celebrating today. The hope in Jesus that even if it is the light is not shining, we know that there is a sun over there. And this is what Jesus showed to us in the Feast of the Transfiguration. Ang Diyos na hindi lumulubog, ang araw na hindi lumulubog. That is why we hope for eternal light. Because there is no such thing as panghabang bagyo, walang forever na bagyo. Come to think about it. There is no forever na rainy season. There will always be a time that the storm will stop. There will always be a time that the rain will stop. But the deception of darkness, the deception of a storm is that when we go through a storm, it is too long that we experience as if it is forever. Pag tayo ay dumadaan sa bagyo, parang ang tagal-tagal at forever. But that's not true. That is the deception of the evil one sapagkat walang pangmatagalan na bagyo. Lahat ng bagyo, lahat ng problema, may hangganan. Pero ang Diyos, si Jesus, ay parang ilaw, parang araw na hindi lumulubog. In the first reading of the day, it confirms that Daniel had a vision of the Son of Man who is glorious, and this glorious Son of Man was dazzling, emanating from Him was light. And thousands and thousands, myriads and myriads, all people of language, of tongue, of every nation, adore Him. Jesus in His being light and life naturally attracts. And this is what happens to us as well. When we don't stop being deceived by darkness, we naturally shine out of the light of God. When we shine because of our hope in Jesus, when we shine, people naturally see the light in us. And as we light up like Jesus lighted up in the first readings, vision so people are attracted to us in the gospel of today very clearly we have jesus who is a vision in the first reading is now a reality in the gospel jesus in the mountain together with his intimate friends peter james and john was seen transfigured in light when you speak about this light, this is the very nature of God. When we speak about glory to the Father, glory to the Son, and glory to the Holy Spirit, glory is doxology, 
And when you speak about doxology, we recognize that indeed Jesus is the light that gives life. Darkness can never give life. The evil one can never give life. Only the light that gives light. And so we see Jesus now shining, talking to Moses, who is the representative of the law in the Old Testament, and Elijah as the representative of the prophets. We see now this Jesus who is not only the reality of the transfigured vision in Daniel, but he is also the reality of the promise of the law and the prophet in the Old Testament. It's an extraordinary age and time. It's an extraordinary time when we even now try to go back to that experience of transfiguration because it is in that moment of transfiguration that Jesus, that the Father, the Holy Spirit, they are telling to us that this is who we are. We are created out of the light. And out of the light that we were created, there is life. And this life is never frustrated by any difficulty, any storm any rain, any darkness. This is what we celebrate today. This is who we are. And so, in the midst of a storm and darkness, may we not stop gazing at the light which may not be outside of us, but it's the light that is burning brightly in our hearts and once we discover that light once we discover the light that is in us no tragedy no difficulty can stop our hearts smile amen please stand In the transfiguration, the Father revealed the glory of His Son. We do not see His glory now, but as we wait for the kingdom, we pray in His name to the Father. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That the glory of Christ may shine through the church as we faithfully listen to him, we pray. Let, Let your, your power and, and glory shine on us, O Lord. That the beloved Son may lead the nations into the paths of peace and justice, we pray. Let, Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That we may grow in grace that others may see the light of Jesus in our lives, we pray. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That people who suffer may see their teacher in the transfigured Redeemer, we pray. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That the dead may be transfigured in the likeness of Christ's glorious body, we pray. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. In silence in our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions. Brothers and sisters, for a moment, let us bow down our heads and recognize the light shining in our hearts, the light who is Jesus, that no darkness can frustrate it. Let this light shine in our family, in our workplace. Let this light be the source of life to people around us. Lord God, it is wonderful for us, wonderful for us to be here. Receive the prayers of this community assembled to hear the words and to offer the sacrifice of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
。阿门。Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by His radiant splendor. Cleanse us from the stains of sin, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them off to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he, for he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses, and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form, which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples, and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth like in its head. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your Majesty without end, we acclaim. Are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all the clergy, and the community have gathered here before you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. of Christ with confidence let us pray like Jesus
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ is that dear apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other God's sign of peace. Peace be with you. is our Lord Jesus Christ, the light in darkness, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that we should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you will already there and unite myself fully to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We apply to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenz Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Saints Arnold, Johnson, and Joseph Freinademens, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have experienced the Lord go to the world and become like what we have experienced, Jesus. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.